All right guys, and welcome back to the channel. Today we're gonna do a flex fuel install and larger injectors. And then after that, we're gonna flash our trifecta tune so we can run this. Uh, first, you're gonna need to buy a flex fuel sensor. That 1357729 is one of the numbers that works, but there's a couple others that you can choose from. You'll need some fittings. You'll need a connector to connect to your sensor. Okay, here we are. We got the sensor. We have our 6AN to 3 8 We ordered two of these. And then you have your 6AN to 6AN female 90 degree adapter. Yeah, it's going to be on this side and then you slide this over. Start tightening it down. Okay, and then you just want to snug it up. This is a 7 16 And then this should be a 5 8 but I cannot find my 5 8 wrench, so I'm going to use uh, an adjustable wrench. But I need to pause it to do that. Okay, I got it on. Once again, you don't have to over tighten it. Just make sure it's on there decent. I put a little bit of Teflon tape on the ends because in previous installs, I noticed just a little bit of fuel moisture getting by and uh, put some Teflon on it last time. Stop that. So we'll go ahead and put on our 90 and then this part. And then we'll take it outside to install on the vehicle. All right, before you get started, you want to make sure your engine is somewhat cool, and then we're going to disconnect the battery. It's a 10 millimeter. Okay, and then this is your fuel rail, so you're going to want to relieve the pressure. You can use a, like a screwdriver or something. I'm moving on to the fuel line. There's this little clip. Let me get a better angle for you. Okay, there's this little safety clip you can pop off and then slide it down. Now, you're gonna need this specialty tool for fuel lines. You're gonna slide it up under and it should release it. And now we take our sensor and it'll just pop in. Then we can take the fuel line out of here to make more room. Or that way we can move it around a little bit. And then pause it real quick. All right, I got it in. Put a little clip in, it's a tight fit. Already tightened this down. To reach it though, I removed this hose. But I could have done it a different way. We're already gonna have to take off the fuel rail to put in the injectors, I could have just taking out the fuel rail, it would have been easier to, to get to, but it's already done now. So actually, I don't know why I just put that back on because we're gonna do the fuel injectors next. Oh, one last thing I wanted to add was this is the routing for the fuel line. I uh, zip tied it here to the AC line so it kind of stays out of the way. You don't want it accidentally hitting the belt. Okay, so to get the fuel rail out, I'm going to take off this PCV hose. It has this um, little clip. You can use a flathead screwdriver to pull it out. Then you pull it up and you can uh, 
get it out of the way. Let's see. All right. Let's see. Let's put that to the side. All right. The fuel rail is held on by two T30s. See them right there, right there. Then the ground wire is it's a 10 millimeter nut in there. So that's what we're gonna take out right now. Harness wire out, pull up on the rail. So now we got it out. We disconnect each one with a little retaining clip. We're going to take out with a screwdriver. Do not try not to lose these. I believe you can raise them with the 42 pounds, I think. Some of them you you don't have to reuse them because it's going to be snugged in there, anyways. But I think it's better to use them if you can. Okay, got four clips out. When I pull these out, they're going to start leaking fuel, so just be careful. Oh, now there's four more retaining clips that hold the injectors in. I think these are the ones that you can't really reuse on the 42s, but I could be lying. We'll find out here in a minute. For your knowledge, I believe these are 32 pound injectors, the stop ones. Oh, damn. They're leaking all types of fuel. these back in. putting it upside down. Okay. Now that those are in, put our little 
locking clips on each one. fairly easy, and then we can slide it back in. Again, not sure. I guess I didn't seed it far, far enough. popped out but once we get it bolted down it can't come out anymore. FYI. Make sure you get your, your ground back on there. Everything's in. So putting these two T30s back in on the fuel rail, the fuel rail is going to sandwich the injectors in to the manifold, so they're not going to go anywhere. Just kind of wiggle them while you're tightening. Help everything sit down better. 